The Earth has reached its first catastrophic tipping point for human-caused climate change, according to a new report by scientists in Europe. They say warm water, coral reefs now face a long-term decline, and War in the World is also on the brink of reaching other tipping points. Joining me now to explain is Alex Crawford, a climatologist at the University of Manitoba. Alex, good to speak with you. Thank you for having me. Uh, first, can you give us an idea of what this milestone means for global climate stability? Yeah, so for this particular tipping point, it's really an impact on ecosystems and human systems as opposed to something that's going to feed back in a major way on the climate system. Um, with coral reefs, they provide uh, the basis of a lot of the marine ecosystems that we have, in, especially in the tropics and the subtropics, and they provide the economic livelihood um, because of that basis for fisheries and people and tourism and many other industries. What made uh, the reefs the most vulnerable to, you know, hit this first milestone? Yeah, so coral reefs, they exist in a fairly narrow set of conditions. And one of those things is they need warm water, but they need it to not be too warm. So when you have these marine heat waves that exist and more and more exist as the world is warming up, uh, they get to a point where they're stressed out and that can cause the coral reefs to bleach and then eventually die off. And we've been seeing that over time, over the past 25 years or so, um, it's been harder and harder for those reefs to recover. And so this landmark report here is saying that um, they think that we're at the point where they no longer will be able to recover in the long term. So we will see them die off over the next several decades. And there's a ripple effect here. What are some of the next tipping points we could see? Right, so it doesn't end with coral reefs. They are the most sensitive thing, the most vulnerable thing, but there are six different tipping points that are highlighted in this report. The next one that to me is most notable is the West Antarctic ice sheet. Um, and so this is really a question of sea level rise. If you were to um, take away all of the ice that is in West Antarctica, that equates just by itself to another three meters of sea level rise above what you'll get from Greenland or mountain glaciers, anything else. And the thing with this ice sheet is that it is sensitive to tipping points. What I mean by that is that it's possible to put it into a state where even if you stopped greenhouse gas emissions, even if you started cooling things down again, it would continue to fall apart over the next several centuries. And the warmer we make it, the more likely it is we trigger that irrevocable collapse. Is there a time frame for when we could see this happen, the next stages of this? Right, and that's the really tricky thing. Um, with West Antarctica, it's one that we don't know nearly as well. The, the coral reef one has been predicted for a while and it seems to be coming to fruition, but there's still uncertainty with West Antarctica. It might be that it takes about three degrees of warming to really trigger that, which might not even happen this century. We could avoid that. That one is a very good point of optimism there. On the other hand, the worst case scenario is that we're actually already seeing it start. And that's one of the things that um, researchers both here at the University of Manitoba and around the world are trying to determine right now. You know, when we hear the term tipping point, it almost seems like it's too late. I is there time to reverse some of this? You hinted there is some optimism. Well, oh, so according to this report, there isn't more time for the coral reefs. And I think that's what makes it m most alarming. For something like the West Antarctic Ice Sheet or any of these other tipping points they're talking about, we haven't hit them yet, or at least we're not sure we've hit them yet, which means that there is reason to still try to keep the warming um, down and to keep the warming from exceeding 1.5 degrees Celsius, or if it does go over that, try to bring it back as soon as we can. The one other point of optimism I really do want to make sure is clear, not everything in the climate system is a tipping point or has a tipping point. Um, Arctic sea ice and polar bear habitats, there's no tipping point there. If you think about um, like extreme flooding events or droughts, those are the sorts of things that if you cooled the earth back down, they would go back to what they were like before. So not everything is a tipping point, but something in the coral reefs, yeah, yeah, that absolutely is. Well, Alex, I want to thank you for your insight into this tonight. It was great speaking with you. Yeah, thank you for having me.